Welcome to the party. Thank you. An anthology called Brother Brother. Uh, uh, many of my good friends uh, who are here and some of them are gone are published in this book. And um, this has sort of become uh, the new black gay man's Bible in America, next to the first a black gay anthology. Uh, which that was written by a, a black man named Joseph Bean. Um, anyway, the poem is, is called Brothers Loving Brothers. <clears throat> Respect yourself, my brother, for we are so many wondrous things. Like a black rose, you are a rarity to be found. Our leaves intertwine as I reach out to you after the release of a gentle rain. Your precious gem, black pearl that warms the heart, symbol of ageless wisdom, I derive strength from the touch of your hand. Our lives blend together like rays of light. We are men of color, adorned in shades of tan, red, beige, black, and brown. Brothers born from the same earth womb. Brothers reaching for the same star. Love me as your equal. Love me brother to brother. Yes. I was to read poems, poetry, I, I thought, oh my God, I, I, I don't know it in English. And then I remembered this one is in English, so oh. I'm, I'm lucky. And did you write it? No, 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 I didn't. No, no, no. He got Somebody it. called Peter McWilliams, I don't know, anybody knows him? <laughs> Peter McWilliams? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where I found it, but I really like it a lot. Okay. There's no title, I don't know. So. You I found was, it? I found it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you can start. <laughs> I must conquer my loneliness alone. I must be happy with myself, or I have nothing to offer you. Two halves have little choice but to join. And yes, they do make a whole. But two holes, when they coincide, that is beauty, that is love. Mm. Like good old Jesse. Mm. Just Jackson. Mm. No, cause I am somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Jesse. laughs> okay, you get an amen. You get an amen, girl. You get an amen. <laughs> cause I am somebody. somebody. But now I see death to the voice that believed we were worth wanting, loving each other. Now I hear I was mute, tongue tied, burdened by shadows and silence. Now I speak, and my burden is lightened and lifted, free. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah.